Well, welcome back to the 215. Uh, uh, Freela, don't leave me hanging. We are literally hanging out at the Museum of Illusions. And Mike, you're not in peril because it is just an illusion. <laughs> Speaking of awesome things, because this has been an incredible experience, Speaking of awesome things, do you remember those early jam sessions in the 2000s where you would just, you know, hang out and vibe impromptu? Oh, heck yes, I miss them. Well, guess what? They are back Wednesdays, Studio Wednesdays at Silk City. Throughout time, you know, I don't want to necessarily say that the message of Philadelphia music has gotten lost. I guess just you talking right now. But, uh, you know, the beat is back. Two, two. Live music is back where it used to be. <laughs> Still have the creatives and the musicians and the artists, you know what I'm saying? Why not just bring everybody here, you know, make it all improvised, and let's see what everybody got. It's strictly a uh, creative atmosphere, so throughout the night you hear no cover songs, no songs that you hear on the radio, whether in your car, your stereo, whatever. Everything that you hear throughout the night is created all in the moment. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, you go to different venues, you probably hear the same songs here and there, you know, it might be sung a little differently, but at the same time, it's still the same song, you know what I'm saying? So let's give rid of all that, and let's come up with new songs on the spot. It brings, a, you know, a freshness to the community, it brings, a, you know, a challenge to a lot of musicians. And then you in here, Silk City, which is like, a legendary spot anyway. I right? love this spot, man. I mean, one of the biggest things why I chose this venue is because back when I was a, uh, a younger musician, you know, I remember the Beat Street Jam sessions here at Silk City with my guys Steve McKee and Corey Bernhardt. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to bring that vibe back to the city. And uh, funny enough, even before the pandemic, I was trying to find a venue to kind of do something like this, you know what I'm saying? And then once the time came and, you know, Silk City came out to me, I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do and this is how I want to go about it. So. It's, it's, it's only it's only meant to be. It's definitely a a well diverse uh, crowd of just musicians, artists, and just audience members. We have people from Jersey, Delaware, Baltimore. They come to Philly. They see what we do, and they you know they spread the word, and they bring out more people the next month. So it's a, such a beautiful thing. You know, this is a really amazing atmosphere where we kind of feature a lot of different scenes in the community, a lot of different musicians from the community, a lot of different artists from the community, a lot of people that I might not know, but, you know, they bring their crew, etc. And, uh, you know, it's just all, you know, just gelling into one to make sure that we let people know that the Philadelphia music scene is not going anywhere. We're still here, and we're still very strong. Well, those studio Wednesdays are the first Wednesday of every month at Silk City. 